Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might Magic 3. In the last part, we got started on the mission with Zhao Yu in the Unholy Alliance campaign. We completely skipped over Solidaire, which we were probably supposed to take as a priority, and blitzed out four towns belonging to the computer on its side of things. So now we have a foothold in Deja, and they have a foothold in our lands, and it is a tactical nightmare mess thing. Nevertheless, we could be in worse position as we have lots of units available to us if the AI does not retake its towns quickly. Your scouts report that they have seen these skeleton transformation rituals and they are grisly to the extreme. Their need for troops must be getting to the necromancers. They also report there are two barbarians who are operating Grathia, sparking trouble. The other possibility is that they are gearing up for something big. <laughs> thought is not welcome in your mind at all. But it, yet it remains. <laughs> Do not fear Crag Hack. Actually, you should. Crag Hack is easily the most fear worthy hero in this campaign. I would take him over Sandro. What? Yes. Well, at least the original form. Although the form I made in the last mission was also pretty stout. Does Jell you have ballistics? I don't think he does. So he doesn't want a ballista, because that thing can ruin your blind plans and whatever. Um... Nah. Now how do I get off this heap? Actually I could, um... Play for the middle. I don't get it. What the heck is going on here? There shouldn't be a necro town in there. And I, it, the way the fog is appearing, it shouldn't be up here either. Is it underground? There's an underground passage near enough. Let's check it out. It would make more sense if it were underground. Cards of Prophecy. A hero that's probably not going to see battle. Yeah, just trying to. Take away everything belonging. Oh, I'm not going to be able to grab that. <laughs> Let's not throw away another hero. Um, yeah, I'll run to Dragon Vault. And then the rest, I'm just going to build up to like level 4 or 6 or something like that. Where did that just come from? Where are you? Vitamina, I hate you right now. You've caught me out of position. And Gerwolf just keep flying stuff. I guess you can explore underneath there now. And yeah, we're just gonna look over here too. Try to take some mines. Whoa, 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 where are you going? I'm still nervous, like I don't know where that hero that took the sea went off to. Mausoleum. I can't remember if those are guarded or not. I'll have to take a look. I am getting some resources. <laughs> Even if they were not intended for me. Ah, there's the boater. Hope you just stay out there forever. Wow, she's like almost out of magic here. Useful. Chase her out of here. Might as well pick this up since I'm in the vicinity and it's almost time for another week's worth of troops. Which is going to get expensive hiring all these new heroes. Now I can't really fight guards.
Oh, because glitches are level 5. So it's the first four level troops that are fine. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Clancy. You're supposed to be helping Jem, but since you're here... Let's bring more troops down to Jalyu, shall we? The heck is he anyway? Spam hero! Not too useful yet. Skeleton Transformer. We do not have one. Yes, we do. Here it is. <laughs> Can I convert a skeleton into another skeleton? At least not sensibly. And actually, uh, Ryland, you're not badly placed. Well, except from a convenience standpoint. Why would I ever make things convenient for myself? Or actually, no, I don't want to... Here. Keep these for defense. Make them pay if they attack. Of course I'd be blocked by a horde of harpies for a month of the harpy. Why wouldn't I be? That's just, you know, typical. Um, where is Voy? He could be useful to me right now. Yeah. Some vampires and skeletons? No. No skeletons. But Ryland should pick up troops from here as well. Or could I hire another hero? No. Although I think if you stick one in a city, you can. Yeah. Hero spam. It's like a poor man's town portal. Well, this is awkward. out of moves. Okay. Clancy. Dump some troops on Jelly, please. Might be tying the boat back. Killing fields must be shut down. The lords, Navli, and your superiors, Narathia, are greatly distressed at your reports of the events. Yeah, I bet. These atrocities must cease immediately. Only then will the night terrors leave your sleep unmolested. I thought you said you were, like, stolen or sealed against that or something, or you're, you were trained, trained to handle it. Hmm. Few, few, throng, horde, horde. Lots. It would be close right now. We got a couple problems though. 
biggest one is right here. I don't have anything to defend this town. But, we can recruit Tazar with his advanced armor and cause trouble with that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever hired this many heroes before. There we go. Oh, you could be fodder. Ryland is just gonna hang out here. Yeah, get more vampires. And I guess you're flagging mines, because you don't have anything else to do now. Although flagging mines is respectable. These stupid necro towns are so obnoxious. Their shroud is ridiculously large. Now he's got to use us. He's got to walk across some sand. So we're gonna try and consolidate here. Oh, crap! I'm gonna want to load my auto save. I can recruit a lot of troops here. Hang on, viewers. That's a slip on my part. I'm gonna show this properly. All right, we're back. It's not like I didn't see it. For some reason, I brain farted. Do all my towns have markets? They ought to. What does the undead market look like? Tiny. What is this? Blacksmith. It's kind of strange that you get first aid tents, but then when you look at them, they're like, oh my god. Alright. We need to recruit stuff here. First thing we do is sell all of our resources. Yes, all of them. We've captured enough towns where that's an advantage now. One of many advantages to holding a bunch of towns. So, okay, we've got a lot of money. Let's spend it. Um, rogues can shove off. Let's grab 18 unicorns. Nice. We'll get the dendroid sapling, so uh, we can cut the skeletons out of the army and get a bunch of dendroids. Lots of hit points here. Quite powerful. Um, we have a slot for Pegasi already, so we'll grab them. And we can get 19 dwarves. Um, hmm. could probably outspeed the liches by putting those guys there and I won't be vulnerable to that death ripple thing. These are normal whites so they're not going to do very much. We'll put dwarves in instead. Fortunately I can't prevent him from taking the town I don't think. Nor can I buy out all my troops there. So they caught me a little out of position. But this should go much better now that I've bought troops. They'll still attack and take it, but won't be very nice over them. Or won't be as nice anyway. And yeah, of course, they pulled the troops from that town. <laughs> I wish I could pull troops from my garrisons when I attacked. Um, hmm. Yeah, I better get away. Curse. Cannot blind anything. I can, however, haste. That would allow me a shot at the bone dragons, but I'm gonna wait a minute. Ooh. Now I think I'll use the dwarves for that. Or I won't use the dwarves for that. We will instead use the zombies that are walking dead. And I've already gotten a retaliation off of him, so we just run down there and rough him up a bit. Didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. Killing off a bone dragon is useful. 
Um, direct damage spells wise, I'm not too useful. So none of this is too useful. So I'm gonna wait. Ouch. Jesus. And yeah, let's eat a retaliation here. Do I have bless or something that offset the? Yes, I do. I can cure it off. It's not as good as other options, but it'll allow me to do more damage to the bone dragons. And he's just gonna recurse, but I can uh, recure. Now, can I do enough damage to the vampire lords to realistically prevent them from regrowing? Because if not, I'll probably just want to kill their dragons. 40. Um, I could kill at most 10. Probably not. Nah, let's not do that. Let's wait. Nah, that didn't work out for me at all. Yeah, they just they rise from the dead so easily. How much health is left on these guys? 108. Not very likely that I kill them in one shot, but it's worth a try. Nice. Lots of casualties inflicted here. And I've got to get that stupid curse off of me. Alright, now we can at least dogpile the vampires and drop their numbers a bit. They're very annoying, but... Crap. And that's why it's hard to dogpile the vampires. I'm actually gonna wait with these guys. Move like this. These vampires will have the most trouble doing damage back. How many shots these guys have left? Huh. 23 silver Pegasi, or not silver, regular Pegasi. Shots left, lots of shots left on these guys. Seven speed, eight speed. Oh crap. You've got to be freaking kidding me, game. I did not mean to do that. Obviously. Her attack skill, mine. Probably don't even want to attack. Well, no, actually, with three health left, I probably do. These liches are crushing me. That doesn't make much sense. I don't know why they, they would do that. Okay, now I'm just gonna sit tight. Quite sure that's what with that, but I'm gonna bind him in place. <laughs> you just say right there, annoyances. And I'm going to do lots of damage to this guy, even though I'm gonna lose my hero in this town. Right back into the moat, huh? I'm not going to survive, but whatever. 
I'm gonna kill all the skeletons she has currently. She'll revive some skeletons. And, uh, yeah, no ghost dragons left, no bone dragons left, none of that crap. Looks like I get one more uh, turn of arrow shots. There we go. Nothing but liches left. Was that worth it for them? Yeah, maybe, because they got a bunch of elves and crap that you can use too. Okay. Well, this isn't the best for the AI here, though. Meant to transpire differently here. Galthran. I wonder if I can beat him. Oh, I can. Now, oh, well, if I get the uh, help, I can for sure. Where is she? Yeah. Um, you can go ahead and donate one skeleton to her. And uh, she can give you the rest. Yeah, now I'm way stronger. <laughs> the horde of centaurs. You know what? I could use a capital. This one looks pretty reasonable for a capital. What kind of troops can I recruit here for an, a return offensive? Not so great. So, but I, I, there's no way um, if she comes over here though that she's going to be able to take this town successfully. Yeah, let's run Gatherin out of here. I slow you. I actually have a reasonable quantity of witches. As in, they could really hurt something. Alright, ah, he's, uh, he's gonna bite. He's not gonna run right away. Five dark nights. This is going to be very nasty. <laughs> um, yeah, I could put some serious heart on those vampires. Let's get that done. Can you even kill them off entirely? Can these skeletons reach me? One, two, yeah, they can. If I chill out there, they definitely can. Front, like a run of frost rain or something. Lol. Not very effective, but funny. Let's kill some skeletons. You, on the other hand, have incredible damage potential. Pretty heavily inflicted casualties there. All right. Almost out of money in general here. Nick. Yeah, states. I'll take him over there to that Hall of Darkness, buy a boat, and run a counterattack on the AI. I 
don't think the AI will have much answer for that at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be that Necro Town. That's incredible, the, the size that that Shroud of Darkness can do to you. Not to mention Obnoxious. So Tazar never really needed his services this time. And of course now they're flagging all kinds of undead dwellings. And I don't think it matters. One bit. Let's dump some vampires into your stack. Yeah sure, have all of it. Of course, I'm taking all of his undead stuff over here. So his ability to recruit a lot is going to be limited. Still. Such nonsense. And yes, I would love Black Knight, so let's take out the guards. <laughs> Sharpshooters are... Kinda of redundant now, but I don't need Jelly's bonuses or any of his God Mode stats, right? We'll just win with uh, without Town Portal. I'll win on undead numbers. It take me four plus turns to get there. God's sake, man. Kind of funny, sitting on all their stuff constantly. Um, Void could be a critical part in reinforcing Jelly before he leaves the continent. Let's do it that way. We could flag that mine later. Go like here. Alright. Your interrogation of some prisoners brought before you leads to a name, Sandro. Apparently the Sandro is a rival to Veyrad, and maybe the one who ordered his poisoning. <laughs> yeah, Sandro has excellent methods as we've discovered in past campaigns. Yes, the extra Dark Knight is very welcome. Always. Oh, come on, you can almost reach. Actually, that's pretty close. And we're taking some bone dragons and some black knights, and yeah. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. And you can get troops to gel you. Alright. We're not screwed after all. Down there. I'd say the most impressive numbers are the vampires and black knights here, which are two of the undead's better troops. I wonder if I can get an upgraded estate. Um, if I'm willing to sell for some gems, then yes. Yes, I can. Aw, oh, crap. That was like one of the worst things I could have possibly done. Fine, max out the crystal. Thank you. Those vampire lords are a significant upgrade. Where are you at, Jell? You. We'll just recruit directly here. And upgrade completed. Any living creatures that the AI recruits against me is go are going to be a little bit uh, limited. Alrighty then, I even saved some lumber.
Yes, learning. Because learning is a really good skill. Stupid game. Red is being rather slow about their actual regression. I don't want to build another boat. Just get on the friggin' boat. Cheesy AI garbage. Actually, I don't see much need for Clancy any longer. Or a lot of my heroes, really. They served their purpose. We've quickly delivered troops in pinches and um, we've basically served as garrison against the enemy to end counterattacks. the solid air very much do you apparently not oh there you go it's Catherine again Ooh, he's got a decent chunk of forces now <sighs> how many vampires oh you only have 16 vampires I have 119 vampire lords <laughs> what now Standard rules still apply here, however. Uh, we might as well do some damage to living troops. Yeah, you're not going to be able to run this time. Ooh, he did a lot of damage to me there. But I have two strong flyers now, so... Not too worry. Do I have enemy dead? Let's see what I have. No, my earth spells are rather lackluster. I could mass shield though. Which could be useful. Um, the skeletons are the most numerous thing that could cause a lot of damage. And I could block the shooters this way, so... Let's do it. Shut these guys up. These power lishes are nasty. Look at them trying to dogpile my bone dragons. It does hurt. I'll give them that. We'll take some nasty losses here. On top of shield, this is pretty nasty. 50, 24. A lot of zombies. I want to clear those out. Oh yeah, cast mass stone skin this round. Yeah, that damage being done to me is just dropping. Dropping like it's hot. Now the AI is getting screwed by that ability. <laughs> yeah. Looks like my uh, vampire lords are what's going to emerge in the best condition here. It's not like I can't just run over to one of my elf towns and get a bunch of sharpshooters. Can't cast any spells? Oh no, I can. Is that the best one? I don't think so. Need to look at all my spells now, I think. Not a lot of good options at all. Might as well. Let's see how much this does. Wow, curing in this game is just terrible. <laughs> Are you 
kidding me? All that effort to bombard down a thing and now I can just walk through. Yeah, I sure is brilliant. Alright, so I lost about half my bone dragons and a lot of other things. But crushed one of the last resisting AI towns pretty effectively. And took down a pretty strong hero in the process. Whew. Jerks. Hmm. Why not? They even have some stuff for me here. Some of it nicely upgraded for me. <laughs> Oops. So they're trying to push my last town, or my first town, I should say. But I have dendroids. And elves. And Pegasi. I actually didn't build this town up very well. But we can delete the skeletons, and this should be more than enough to deal with her uh, stack. Considering she left her leches behind. So one more time, we'll have to march into this town. Not much trouble here, though. <sighs> AI is not too bright. Alright. Just done. Anything of use here? Unfortunately, probably not. Oh well. Even so, I'd say we did pretty well on this map, even without town portal abuse. And yeah, now Red is uh, out of towns and will attack in desperation. Anytime you take their last town, they just seem to desperation attack you, even if they can't win. But I guess they have to. Yeah, we'll see if you win this time, jerk. Ah, it's a nasty lightning bolt. Look at that. All these troops are recruited are dead. <laughs> Dwarven morale problems. Well, this isn't too bad. Without like 50 plus power liches, your siege is not too impressive. Are these faster than my Pegasi? No. In other words, I can come out to here and do a crap ton of damage and run back in. Hee <laughs> hee! I guess we'll just wear on the door since they have so much friggin' hit points. Crushing me with that. Not gonna be enough though. Too many hit points per week for Rampart. Yeah, we'll just do another little hit and run on the dwarves here. for you. It's over. Red has been vanquished <laughs> while attacking me <laughs> at my home base. Congratulations, they're all dead. Excellent.
All right, so we actually won that scenario and I did not stat pump or farm spells at all. I'm probably setting myself up for failure, but um, hopefully Craghack can save us. Anyway, we are going to do gems part of this campaign next, but we'll handle that in the next video. Thumbs up if you liked the video. I'll see you in the next part. Me and team signing off.